third phase moon blake cousins welcome back everybody from around the world we have three submissions coming into us right here i want to share it with you get your opinions of what we're looking at let's get started with lazarus walk he shot this tonight within an hour over san bernardino california take a look at this I believe that's an orb. We're gonna find out. It definitely has the characteristics. Yep, it definitely is. Hello. Thank you for revealing yourself. Can you get brighter? Yeah, there's an airplane coming in. You can see. That definitely is the orb. It's very bright. I would not shine this laser into a commercial airplane. This is the orb. Can you turn around and come back, please? Okay, now it's dimming. And it's gone. It's faintly there. That was very good footage on my wide angle. We'll see if we see it again, or more of them. All right, we just saw Lazarus shot of what looks to be a bright orb over San Bernardino, California. He's explained to us that the quality was shot in 4K, so we're able to get a really good close-up on this bright orb over the skies over San Bernardino. He claims in his humble opinion that it's some of the best UFO footage of an orb ever captured, and I have to agree, he captures this. He has his tripod, so he's able to get a great shot, focus on this uh, unidentified flying object, and at the same time, try and interact with it, with his laser. And he says in the video, he does not point this laser at a conventional aircraft, but if it looks like a UFO, try and get its attention, and that's exactly what he did. And in my opinion, this is uh, some incredible stuff. We have Brent Cousins. Here, I, I want to get his opinion. Brent. What I find it incredible with this video is how this plane, the conventional plane, approaches this bright orb. I think that this pilot saw something in the sky and wanted to get a better look. We're looking at something that's basically unidentified and Lazarus wanted to basically let the people know that we're, we're not alone. Yeah, that's right, Brent. Lazarus says in his email to me, he says, I think it's important for people who realize that we are not alone and the majority of these unknown objects which are out there are harmless beings. I've been UFO hunting for over a decade and the footage I took tonight deserves more attention. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Lazarus. So we're going to give it the attention it deserves right here at Third Phase Moon. I got a feeling this is gonna go big over the internet. Uh, we're gonna leave Lazarus original link so you can see it in 4K below, but 
we did some uh, pretty good enhancements on his footage right here and i can't explain what lazarus captured other than it's a unidentified flying object okay now let's get to this this is this is interesting the mib they make an appearance take a look at this All right, that's the video from Will Porter and Noai. He submitted this from Clarksdale, April 17, 2016. He says they showed up out of nowhere and they stood out like a sore thumb. Well, obviously they stood out like a sore thumb. Could these guys be just a Blues Brothers act going on over there in Clarksdale? I did a little research. I looked up the Blues Brothers act in Clarksdale and Really, nothing came up on YouTube, so I'm trying to track down who these guys really are. But when you look at the video, there's something mysterious about it. it these guys are walking in unison. It, very strange, peculiar uh, mannerisms, as you would expect with MIB encounters. Brent, what's your thought of uh, Will's capture? Is this some kind of uh, event with the Blues Brothers, or why do these guys show up? in the first place if these are actually impersonators of the blues brothers they're they're walking as they're performing right there there is no audience why would they be in sequence just for themselves nobody's really looking at them absolutely Brent. strange indeed what is going on in clarksdale is the mib up uh, prevalent over there have you seen the mib i want to get your opinions are these guys the mib that's the most important question What's weird about them? Does anything throw you off in the video? All right, now we got more footage coming in via our Facebook. Take a look at this. All right, this from Facebook from Andrew Phyllis. He says he took this photo out of the plane April 9th. He's uh, traveling from Sydney, Australia aboard an aircraft and he captures these anomalous bright orbs outside of his window. What are we looking at? Is this reflection from within the cabin, a flash coming off his uh, iPhone or whatever apparatus he's taking? Now, why would Andrew submit this to us if he knew it was some kind of flash from within the cabin? I think he saw this uh, outside the cockpit. We got uh, things coming on Facebook as we speak right now. Brent, what do you make of this from Andrew Phillips? If I was Andrew, I would have asked, um, you got to film this. If you're seeing it, you can't take a photo. You actually got to get down and videotape this because that would have really given us the solid proof. Why would he take the photograph and submit it to us right here at Third Phase of Moon? He may have saw something that was tracking the plane. I invite Andrew to call into our radio show. I want to see what he saw through his uh, testimony on the radio. Call in, Andrew. Join us this Friday. We're going to be uh, broadcasting live again. So stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for more updates right here at Third Phase of Moon. Oh, wow, it's getting quite amazing. Blake like Cousins, keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. We're not alone. Thanks, Brent. I believe that's an orb. We're going to find out. It definitely has the characteristics. Yep, it definitely is. Hello. Thank you for revealing yourself. Can you get brighter? Yeah, there's an airplane coming in. You can see. 
That definitely is the orb. It's very bright. I would not shine this laser into a commercial airplane. This is the orb.